Hello guys and welcome back to Tichita. In this video, we're going to perform a heat analysis on a composite beam. Let's start with part module. Click on create. We're going with a 3D deformable model and the shape is solid. Let's move on with extrusion. Click continue. Let's create a rectangle with the size of 1 by 1, like so. Close and then click done and then provide the depth of 3. Click OK. Now to create a composite beam, we're going to offset the top surface by 0.5 like so. Click done. Now we have two layers on top of each other. We're going to move on to property module. Click on material, click on manager, click on create. Under general, click on density. We're going to assume 800 for density. Now let's move on to mechanical. Under elasticity, click on elastic. We need to change the type to engineering constant. And then we'll provide young modulus in all three directions and the rest of ratios like so. All these numbers are for demonstration only and don't pertain to a specific material. Since we want to analyze heat in this example, we're going to click on thermal and then click on conductivity. We will assume the conductivity ratio of 5 and then we're going to click thermal again and click specific heat and provide a ratio of 1. Click OK. Again. Please note that all these numbers and ratios and constants provided in this example are imaginary. You have to provide correct numbers depending on the material that your problem has. Here, we're just reviewing how to solve a heat analysis of a composite beam. Click OK and then close. Now click on create section. We have a solid homogeneous section. Click continue and click OK. Let's assign this material to the top and bottom layer. Click done and then click OK. Now we need to define a local coordinate system. Click create datum right at the center of the bottom layer. We need to provide the orientation of strains inside these layers. I'm going to select the top layer, click done and then select the bottom layer and repeat the process. This time, with an angle of 90 degrees, like so. Click Done. Now let's go to Assembly module. Click Instance. Click Create. Select Independent. Click OK. Now let's go to a Step module. Click a Step. Click Manager. Click Create. Now we're going to change Procedure Type to Heat Transfer. And then click Continue. Let's go to Incrementation tab. Here we can change the step to get from Initial to Maximum. We can assume the max allowable temperature for increment to be 10. Click OK and then close. Let's go to output. Under history output requests, click manager, click create, click continue, select thermal, click OK and then close. Let's move on to interaction module. However, we don't have any interactions between different layers and different materials so we can ignore and move on to load module. Click on BC, click create, the category is temperature. We will assume that the two ends of the beam are 100 degrees centigrade and the two lateral ends are at 500 degrees. Now we're going to select the four ends, click done and then enter 100 for magnitude.
Now we're going to repeat the process for ladder side. Remember to hold shift key to select all faces. Provide a magnitude of 500 and then click OK. We're going to assume that heat with a temperature of 200 degrees is being applied on the top surface. Click on Load, click Manager, click Create. Under Thermal, we're going to select Surface Heat Flux. Click Continue, select the top surface, click Done, provide a magnitude of 200, click OK, and then Close. Let's move on to Mesh Module. Click Mesh, click Element Type and select both top and bottom layers. Under Family, select Heat Transfer. Always remember that for a more precise solution, you can select a geometric order of quadratic, but here we will continue with linear, as this example is only for demonstration on how to solve a problem. Click OK and then click Done. Now click Seed, click Instance, let's provide a mesh size of 0.2, click OK, and then click Yes. Now let's move on to Job Module, let's click Create and give it a name, let's say Heat Composite. Click Continue, click OK, and then click Submit. As always, we must wait for the software to solve the problem. We've received completed successfully, so we're going to go to Results. Now to see changes in temperature, we need to select NT11 from top here. As we said during initialization, the lateral sides had 500 degrees and the two ends were at 100 degrees, as you can see here. Now we can see also an animated clip on how the temperature changes throughout the structure. Thank you very much guys for watching this video and as always please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. If you have any questions regarding this video or abacus please leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys next time.